Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. JC here with another video on Action Timing. Today we're gonna check the update very quickly. Um, I mean, there's a ton of things, yet there's not much to do this week. It's kind of weird. So, uh, let's just start by checking. Uh, here behind I have the, the list. And it says that the first thing that we have, obviously, is going to be um, Lapis. Lapis already re released. Uh, she's gonna be paywalled for the first two weeks as usual. Uh, we have the pack that comes with uh, the bathrobe, uh, the character, gems, as well as a weapon. And this weapon isn't that bad. It says increase critical rate by 8% and increases critical damage by 13%. That's actually not bad for one of these weapons. I don't know if the stats are uh, less than usual. I mean, let's see. So it's uh, 439 and 500, almost a little bit more than 500, 508. And the pickup gacha is going to give us a weapon that has higher stats. So yeah, even though the effects on this weapon are kind of good, they don't really matter because you would need to use nano machines to get more S level and the stats are not worth it. So yeah, if you want it for the skin, that's fine. But I usually do not recommend that you buy neither this nor this one. In fact, it is more, um, it is better and it gives you more value to buy the renewal packs. If you are thinking about buying that, uh, consider the renewal pack. So, of course, uh, there's also some other things. With every character uh, comes a gacha. Uh, as you saw, Lapis is going to be sharing weapons with Shiranui, which is kind of good if you already have some of her weapons, of Shiranui's weapons, then you can just pass them to the next character. And we're going to have a new weapon in the Scepter of Mastema, um, scepter of Mastema, okay. So, uh, it says increase damage dealt with the skills by 26% when max out and deals damage. Yeah, it is like not that impressive. It's a generic weapon, but yes, it works. But as usual, it's whatever. The skin is kind of nice. Um, so, yeah, if you want this, you can get it. Um, let's see. Uh, we also have an event for Lapis. If you get her, you're gonna be able to to get a ton of materials. Um, this is going to last until um, the next month. So yeah, I remember in, in two weeks or three weeks, I don't remember exactly, but we're gonna get uh, Lapis F2P. So you have time, you have time to, uh, or we're going to be able to buy her with gems. That's why I'm, what I mean. So. Uh, we have time to complete this. Uh, let's see. So that's for Lapis. Oh, yeah. Of course, if we have uh, a new character, on the Desire Shop, we're going to have the skin. It's going to be the Peerless Beauty one. It is nice. If you want to get it, get it. Remember, uh, these skins that come with the character are going to be available in the Renault pack. So maybe you don't want to actually get this one uh, because the the pack that comes with the weapon, uh, the, the one that comes with a demonite, it's pretty cheap and you're going to be able to buy this skin. Uh, obviously, there's going to be like a couple of reruns similar to, to this one where you're going to be offered that skin, but I suggest you, you don't take that one. Uh, I mean... At least that's my suggestion. I hope that it, it the, the grammar doesn't decide to change things or something. Um, let's see. Desire, Peerless Beauty. Uh, Lap is the campaign. What else? Oh, yeah. We have a logging. So we already checked what the rewards are going to be. And as you can see, we have something very good in the form of a crystal kit which is really appreciated. Uh, I have five crystal kits. Is that it? Let me check. I, I just want to see because I do. Nice. I just exchange a ton of crystals because I, I want to prefer lapis. Um, so yeah, 
And that's that's good. That's good. Uh, Lapis, if you don't know, <laughs> she is a blue a protect type character, a demon type character. So if you want to to get the materials, get everything for protect. Uh, let's see. We have the login, surprise missions. Uh, so for this, uh, we have uh, missions for completing the events, as you can see. So as usual, we're gonna get uh, materials and we still have the, the Easter event, so that's cool. So you can get more things. Unfortunately, the campaign isn't that impressive. It's just a multiplier for for event runs and it doesn't even have like AP reduction so it's like okay ish I mean it is good for completing missions here on the golden pass but it is kind of disappointing I, I guess that they want to focus on on arena arena tower and that's why we don't have that much content to do in regards of quests so yeah uh, let's see we have the the uh, campaigns. Let's see. AP multiplier, yes. And we have news, new event. Oh yeah, we have a new event uh, where we can get Torajiro. And the event is kind of normal. There is nothing like special. Uh, there's gonna be crystals at the end, which is good. Uh, Torajiro isn't that great, but she has niche uses, uh, thanks to the extended buff duration. So, yeah. Uh, another thing, we have a new enemy, a spoiler alert, if you don't want to check it, you can just omit it. But here, on the vent, we're gonna get, uh, if you want to skip this, uh, just skip a couple seconds. And we're gonna be getting uh, Minasaki as a, as a boss. Maybe that's in preparation for her as a playable character. I mean, they, they usually do that. That first they, they add them as bosses and then they add them as characters. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I, I don't think... I mean, I wouldn't think that Minasaki is going to be next. Because they haven't uh, added Lilim just yet. Uh, I don't think the twins are going to be playable. Having a double character would be weird, but... well. We have Minasaki now. Uh, also, we have a new pickup gacha. Yeah, here. So we have this uh, supporter. This is a, a permanent supporter. It is Kurui, and she. I already mentioned that she's actually good for certain uh, levels. Uh, especially where, where there are mobs. For example, human VR is not a good uh, option to use this supporter, but machine VR and demon VR are excellent for using this one. Uh, machine VR more than than um, demon because the enemies constantly reappear. So yeah, uh, we have that. Oh, another thing that you should take into consideration is that we just got Saya Neo into the general pool. That's great. I'm still wondering where they're going to add, let's see, uh, white, which isn't that important, white. Uh, Saya Neo is more important that, than white. And New Year Kowaru, I hope they do add her. I mean, her effect is not that impressive to begin with. But I just hope that she's unlimited, <laughs> kind of the special uh, limited type of supporter. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have the pick of gacha. We have, of course, the golden pass. Uh, I already started to to work on this, and I'm going to buy it. But uh, I, I always get it because of the tickets. The tickets are very useful. Uh, let's see. So if you want to get Astro, that's another good reason to, to get this one. Um, it is always better value to buy uh, the Golden Pass than buying uh, these packs. Uh, so yeah, if you don't like these ones, but you do like the skins, 
it's better to get the golden pass. But it's up to you whether you can, not, or uh, if you like the skin. So, yeah. We also got, as I mentioned, uh, new floors for the arena. I'm gonna be recording my runs on this. Maybe I do it in one sitting because it's very easy for me in this account. Or maybe I do it uh, like 10 floors, 10 floors and the last 5 floors. Or maybe I do them individually depending on how hard this is. I don't think it's gonna be hard. And we know that the rewards aren't that impressive. I mean, for you are orbs, uh, for you are elements, uh, a couple coins, a couple mirage crystals. This one is I, I do like five limited gacha coins, uh, one element uh, en no enchantment booster that is fifty percent. Um, five crystals of each category. So yeah. Uh, I do hope that they start resetting the tower. We, I mean, if, <laughs> look at this, look at this. Um, where was it? Five? Wait a moment, this gives me five? This gives me five? These floors give five? Give us five? These give five? And now they're giving four? That's kind of... Oh, this and it's like, isn't a higher floor supposed to give more rewards? Yeah, I mean, I, I can just um, for Greek, for Greek memory for not thinking this through if they just give us the, the monthly reset for the tower. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, so we have the tower and we have some uh, improvements to the game. Which are kind of okay. Um, they haven't added just yet, just so that you know. The uh, new wood weapons. Here we have wooden sword. As you can see, Asagi, Anna Rose, and Lina use this weapon. But if we move down, there are no other weapons for her, for, for them, for them. So that means that the wooden weapon, the other wooden weapon, uh, haven't been added. Uh, we saw those in the video that they uploaded on the on Grammar's channel. And um, I mean, I don't know why I was expecting that. As well as that uh, mechanic for redeeming weapons and supporters. But they, they haven't. Instead, what they did is that they improved the UI. Yeah, that's that's completely fine. They improve the UI of um, the collection. Now we can see the uh, the affinity. Wait a moment. Wasn't there a waste? Uh, no, definitely is then on inventory. So I I guess. Hmm, that's weird. I I swear that they put some. Uh, Option to organize this by affinity, but I don't see it. Let's see. It says improve UI when using certain selectable items to provide cleaner information. Okay. Uh, decimal UIs for probability drop rate have been improved. Okay. Uh, let, uh, let's see. Maybe on uh, a daily. Yeah, but um, that's gonna be affecting more. Oh no, come on, come on, come on. Don't. Don't disconnect. <laughs> my god, why does this happen when I'm recording? Yeah, my, my internet has been failing lately. Okay, so I, I, I'm gonna log in once again. And we have this new... <laughs> well, it, it's a good thing that I disconnected. Uh, we have this new background. I I like it. It's good that they start to change this one. And I hope that in the future we can select the one that we uh, have. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the place where that would affect the most, the decimal point, would be here on VR. I haven't farmed VR today yet. Uh, yeah. 
So, well, I, I don't know what that's supposed to do, but let's see what other improvements they did. Improved the exchange facility to provide more detailed lists of obtainable items based on current registered materials. Unfortunately, I cannot check that because I don't have enough weapons or supporters to use the exchange facility. Uh, as you can see here and here. Maybe... Oh, come on, really? So, yeah. Uh, let's see. We can use the items, of course. We can check here. Additional function. I, I, I'm not sure what is the improvement that they did. Because for me, it's exactly the, the same. I see them. I see everything the same. The, the only difference that I know is that they have added lapis into the, the pool. That's cool. Uh, maybe they, they added a couple more things and I don't know. Uh, but I'll be testing this or I'll be waiting for an announcement. I'll see what that's supposed to do. Uh, let's see. It also says supporter. Oh my god, I'm receiving too, much, too many messages. I'm going to turn this down. Let's see. Improved uh, UI support collection has improved. The playable character can shape intimacy, gauge, and whether they have acquired rewards. Well, I, I haven't seen that because I don't have any characters uh, which can acquire their rewards. Uh, <laughs> but, but, well, no. Uh, as you can see, these two, I still have to level up the intimacy but obviously I cannot see if I can acquire the rewards because I don't have rewards to acquire uh, so supporters can now be sorted by intimacy level in the inventory and supporter selection screen and the intimacy level can be easier to recognize it can be sorted by intimacy level sorry Grimori I don't I don't see that here neither do I see that in the inventory section uh, well, intimacy, yes. Uh, here, yes, they can be sorted by intimacy, which is good. But on the collection section, I, I don't see the bottom to, to do that. Like, or does the collection order... No, it's not the same as, as the one in the inventory because the... I put it by by rarity and we have them organized by release order. So, no, that's not it. Uh, let's see. Another thing, some UIs have been improved so that the players can check whether they have an item or the number of the item they have. So, yeah, that's actually super, super cool. Uh, look, here, owned one. Uh, let me check. One that I have two of. One that I know that I have two of. Um, let's see. Which I have two of. I know that I have two which shoes. So, yeah. We can check that. It is not, like, it wasn't necessary. But it is okay. I mean, it is not needed. But it could help uh, for some specific situations, I guess. Let's see. And, yeah, th this one is the most important one, and I one that I really, really like. One thing that we had to do before is that we have to increase our maximum AP, and then we would uh, use manually the potions. Because if you hit max, it would use 99 potions. And we have a, a, an AP cap of 9,999. So now, if you hit max, it's not going to surpass the, the maximum uh, AP limit. That's super cool. I mean, there's still one more thing that they should add into the game, which this would be amazing if they did. They just need to add one function when after finishing the mission, this uh, mission automatically repeats itself. Uh, if we can toggle that on and off, 
it would be amazing for farming. We could just put all our po potions super quickly. Then they would, uh, we would put this at max. We leave Emily. We start, and then we can do something else while Emily farms all the materials. That would be excellent. Uh, so yeah. And that's kind of it. There are a couple box fixes that I didn't know about. Some bans as usual. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll be... I, I won't be checking Lapis until she's F2P. And I have to start getting more gems to receive um, the limited pack for for Nagi. That's another thing. And uh, as I told you, I'll be checking Tower to see what's up with this. If it's difficult, if it's not. I mean, probably it won't be that difficult in my account specifically. If it is difficult in my account, that would be uh, a very well-received surprise for me. I mean, I want a challenge after all. Uh, but I'll be recording that in a moment. And I'll see if I'm going to do it in batches or everything in one go, if it's just too easy. So, yeah. What do you think about the update? I know it's kind of uh, bland in the farming department because there's not much to do this week. Other than actually playing Arena Tower. Uh, but, I mean, it, it is okay that they did so. We also want a break, especially after those... Uh, after last week where we had uh, the opportunity to farm a lot thanks to the the AP reduction for daily quest. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comments if you like this uh, update or not. And I'll be seeing you next time. Bye!